Now it's time for the children's message. If you have children or youth who are close by and not already watching the video, now's a great time to call them over because I have some things to share with them today. So, hey guys, I'm Pastor David and I get to share the children's sermon with you today. Now, this Sunday is the day of Pentecost in the Christian calendar. And so what is that? Well, in many ways, Pentecost is the birthday of the church. And not just our church, but all Christian churches. Our scripture from Acts chapter 2 that I'll be reading in just a few moments tells us that on the day of Pentecost, God sent the Holy Spirit to Jesus' disciples to empower them to carry out God's mission as the church. And that's really what the church is. The church is a group of people who are empowered to carry out God's mission. So that's why we think of Pentecost as the birthday of the church. In fact, we often will have a birthday cake on Pentecost to celebrate the birthday of the church. Now, what exactly is the Holy Spirit? Well, first of all, the Holy Spirit is not a what. The Holy Spirit is a who. The Holy Spirit is God's presence with us and in us. In the Bible, the Holy Spirit is often represented by wind. It tells us in Acts chapter 2 that there was a sound like a mighty rushing wind when the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples. I like to think of the Holy Spirit in terms of the breath of God because I like this image of wind for the Holy Spirit. You know, wind can blow out a candle. It can make music. I can sing. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. But I can't do that without the breath, without the wind. Now, this is a, a variation of an Irish tin whistle. And it's a musical instrument, and it makes music. Can you hear the music? Me neither. <laughs> it's not making any music. What's it missing? It's missing the breath and the power of the breath to make music. Now, if I blow into it, you get music. Now, we could probably take a vote on whether or not it was beautiful music, but it is music and it, uh, it is made possible by the breath. In the same way, the breath of God, the Holy Spirit, has power to help us to do what God created us to do and what God intends us to do, to boldly tell others about Jesus with our words and with our actions. So let us pray that God will pour out His Holy Spirit on us today to help us to show God's love to others. Let us pray. Lord God, we give you thanks for the children and youth who are watching this children's message today and all those in our church and community. We pray your blessings on them and on their families. Lord, breathe into us your Holy Spirit that we may be empowered to do the things that you have called us to do, to show God's love to others. In Jesus' name, amen. 